All right, what's up, everybody? 2024, new year, new me, or old me, new year, whatever. It don't matter. But today <laughs> we talk about New Year's resolutions. Uh, this is something that I do in my house as a family. We come up with resolutions, we write them down, and then we just stay laser focused on those resolutions. Most of it deals with the financial aspect of it. For me, it deals with the financial aspect of it. Uh, for my wife, it's uh, more of, hey, what are we going to get this old caveman to do for the year and him not say no? So, and she's laser focused on it all year to get me to do it. I know she got some trips. Alex, you would like it. She, I know she probably got some trips planned to go out of the country. You know, me, I just want to stay in my office all day. But that's, I know that's going to be on one of her lists. And then, you know, as we doing this video, this is actually New Year's Eve. Uh, the video will come out a little bit after that, but I'll find out tonight what she has as her goals and um, I will cry um, on the inside and smile like I like it. Um, but with all that being said, today we're going to talk about the one resolution or Alex probably got many, but one resolution financially that our goals are for 2024. So with that, Alex, let's pop it off. What's your goal? So for my goal, because I mean, I'm really glad at where I'm closing off this year at my goal for next year is really just to get more organized and continue to acquire, but in a more organized setting, because I, I know I was able to get three properties this year and I like where we're at with our liquid amount, but it just felt like such a rush because it was like I'm pushing through each property that I'm like, we're like totally off balance, I felt. So I'm trying to get reorganized with that so that I have a better system in place to acquire properties rather than if one thing goes wrong, it could screw up, you know, my our finances or something. So just getting more organized with that. But I want to acquire more properties next year. And helping my wife um get more clients for her insurance that she is doing so really the end goal of both of those is to continue to progress to where we can make more money outside of our jobs than uh than at our jobs what about for you what is your speak on your new year's resolution uh, my 2022, ah, what year is this? All right. My 2024 resolution is, and don't, and I don't want people watching getting this construed with arrogance and I'll explain as I go, but my goal for 2024 is to find another millionaire or to create another millionaire or to assist and create another millionaire and understand I don't do the work when I say create another millionaire. So, and like we had in the class the uh, other night, Alex, Alex is old news. What I mean by old news is Alex is already there. Alex don't have to do nothing and just keep doing exactly what he's doing. I mean, if he never acquired another property or anything else or acquired another stock and just keep investing in everything that he's been doing, just reinvesting everything he's doing, millionaire, done. So for me, I'm looking for the next person that, I can push to become a millionaire. And like I said in the class, Alex, I was like, you need the mentality of Alex to to deal with me because I'm not, I, I know I'm not the most, I mean, forget what they, you know, what we show here on YouTube. I'm not the most uh, giving person to deal with, but you got to have the mentality of Alex, meaning that you got to have the mentality that you want it. You want it more than anything. Like, you know, my favorite quote, and I'm looking at it right now, as I said, from Eric Thomas, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, that's when you'll be successful. So just think of that. As bad as you want to breathe, that's when you want to be successful. So breath and success go together. So just think about when you hold your breath and you just, the mental capacity of it of, oh, I need to inhale to take a breath or I need to exhale to take a breath. That's how much you want to succeed. Then you'll be successful. That's the only concept I understand. I don't understand, 
oh, well, you know, I got a family engagement. You know, it's a birthday. It's a Christmas. I don't understand that. Do I have the ability to mentor to drive somebody in the direction of being a millionaire? Yeah. But I'm not taking any excuses. And then a little later on, I'll give you some of the crazy stuff that I did with Alex. And uh, <laughs> yeah, he probably got more on it. Man, so, I'm Alex, excited. I, I just let you talk. No, <laughs> yeah, man. I'm excited for this upcoming millionaire. I swear, I want to meet them. I want to, I want to torment them. <laughs> this gonna, it's just going to be funny. Just like, cause I know, cause especially if I meet them, I'm sure, you know, I'll have their, they'll have my contact info too. And just to like, hear them be like what they're going through and what they're, cause they're not going to vent to you, but if they end up like venting to me, I'll be like, like, yes. <laughs> yes <laughs> feel the pain bro because <laughs> it's it's just i'm just i want to I, I think it's funny because when you mentioned it in the class i was like oh man like i was like i, I wonder who it would be because it's not easy like it's and you have to you like you said you have to want it bad you have to because i mean as you always say like you always make the joke of like oh i've pissed off alex many times and like, yeah, but it's like, I don't let it be like an emotional pissed off. I'm like, cause the reaction, the take is, oh, you're pissed. But then for me, I sit back and I'm like, like break down what he's saying. And then I think, and then I'm like, you have to like analyze it so you can become better rather than most people, they get like offended. I don't get offended. And that's the difference is like, I'm trying to see how I can become better and understand what you're saying so I can apply it because the reality is you've applied it for yourself and it works for yourself. So I have to do the analyzation or how to figure out to apply that to myself and improve myself. That's the part where people struggle in a mentorship setting is because they want to be offended or they don't want to give it their all, but you really got to, you got to do it. And it's going to be interesting seeing who or who it is, who it's going to be or the person that it'll be go through that because it's going to they're going to do a complete 180 and they're going to have to break down their mind and rebuild it. And I always joke around and say it's like a entrepreneur boot camp, but it like it almost feels like it like because especially what I've gone through. I've spoken with people who have discipline, say, in a setting of sports or military or um, combat sports, and it's so hard for them to just have the discipline in a financial setting. Like, I've never seen, I'm, I would have never expected finance would be one of the hardest discipline settings you have to have in order to be successful like people can nail it down with the exercise they can get the workouts down they could you know have the mental strength to push through in a in a hard setting where they're at where they're physically training but when it comes to like their personal life that you have to change breaking up with the people that you don't need to be with telling your mom sorry i can't celebrate mother's day with you because i gotta save money i mean like <laughs> <laughs> like these are the things that people can't do and it's it's just funny to see because i'm like oh my gosh who's gonna be able to go through this so it'll be uh i'm i'm excited i'm excited to see who this person i'm excited to see the next yeah. crazy person <laughs> yeah and and the thing is uh I'm not gonna say I don't have my hopes up. Like I said, I'm gonna be laser focused on it, but I'm not gonna force nobody to do it. It gotta be somebody that, <laughs> that wants it. I, trust me, I'm not about to spend my energy looking for somebody to be like, oh well, yeah, I can do it. I can do it to them. No, they, it, they, they gotta be somebody that's focused. I mean, just so to give, you know, the people, the audience that's listening, just insight. I mean, Alex went through a lot. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and, and make uh light of it. I mean, literally, so when when I met Alex, you know, we sit there and talk and I was like and I and I thought I was like he has the mindset because you talk to many of people, 
you know, to say that they want it, but usually you get the indicators quickly within the first 10 minutes to say, oh, no, they just won't act like they want it. They really don't want it. And then so, and I've been through hundreds, thousands of these conversations with people, and I'm like, no, oh, they don't want it. They really don't want it. But I'll, I'll, you know, put them to the test to see, and then they always fold like a cheap suit. Uh, and then so I'm, I'm listening to Alex because he's unique. He's younger. And I'm like, hey, when I was that age, I wasn't even thinking of, I was thinking of the next girl I could find and he's talking about money. I was like, it's foreign to me. So I was like, hey, maybe he got it. But still, you got to go through the crucible. You got to go through hellfire and brimstone with me. But like some of the things like, <laughs> like me, I am 24 seven focused on finances, you know, personal finances, you know, no matter what realm it's in, real estate stocks or whatever. I mean, literally I've called Alex millions of times i say millions but i say hundreds of times at least three four in the morning sometimes i was calling him to give him information sometimes i was calling him to see if his ass would just actually work trying to go for the actual goal of getting it i mean some of the conversations we had was hey i could i held it till 8 a.m yeah well i like forget it i'm going for it now because if he really wants it he'll be up trying to figure it out he'll be at actually up doing the research He'll be actually up doing the work. Uh, we've had many conversations about different avenues of life. I mean, the way that people think, the way that people think money has a blueprint. Money has a blueprint. I only follow the blueprint of money, not how you feel emotionally. I don't care that it's, you know, mom and them's birthday, Kwanzaa coming up tomorrow. I don't care about none of that. Only thing I look for is laser focus. And I'm be honest, Alex is Alex laser focused. He's crazier than I am. Because uh at his age, nah, you couldn't even you couldn't even call me past 10 because I was I was out at the club. <laughs> but but <laughs> that's that's what it takes. I mean, that's what it takes. And I'm not looking for somebody that I can, you know, I meet them in their 20s or 30s and we got like a 15 year plan. I mean, for me personally, to deal with them. No, Alex. Alex, this is what year four. And Alex, like I said, millionaires, that, that's not the, that's not the problem. It's just how many multiples he gonna get before he passed me. That's literally where we're at with that. But I look for people that's labor laser focused, that's looking to get there for sure right now. Game on, not the oh, I I'm half in, half out. I need people that's all the way in because I don't have time to sit there and I ain't trying to see your grandkids get raised before you hit that status. And Alex, to your point, you, you knocked it out the park. Uh, you're more, you 10,000% more focused than I was at your age. I wouldn't, I still wouldn't be focused right now at 25. I'd be like, yeah, I'll get to that in a minute player. <laughs> we, I'll talk to you later. But, but yeah, so that's, that's just different things that that's what I look for. I want somebody that's want it right now. And the people that want it right now, They'll get it in a short amount of time than the people that, you know, want it. Oh, I just wonder when I retire. Damn that. I ain't, got, I ain't got time for that. Yeah, and it's like, it's going to be the sacrifices that they're going to have to make. That's what's so interesting is like, because I try to explain to people and I can never come up with the words on like how to explain it. But when you're going through it, it's the stuff you don't realize because you grew up that way, because society creates you that way. The holidays, the birthdays, the putting your job first because, oh, it's my job. The, you know, giving more time to family, giving more time to friends because you want that social life. The mental health, the sleeping, you need eight hours of sleep. The, you know, whatever. Oh, I need quality food. Like all the stuff that society tells you you need to do, you have to get rid of all of that in the beginning because that's where that sacrifice unless you come from a trust fund unless you're a trust fund baby that's where that sacrifice is going to push you above and past those people or past what society sets you up to be like when you were calling me at three four in the morning those nights there were some nights and it was funny just to give a backstory for those that may not know my job i'm a logistics manager to put it simply so i have to so i'm managing drivers and they're driving overnight so i would get some guys broken down on their route 
at like the same time so like kirby would like be calling me so i'm already on the phone with kirby then i would be, be getting calls from like drivers like saying they're broken down and i'd have to text then my manager would call and i'd be like yeah yeah i'm on the phone with the driver like lying to them because i'm on the phone with you <laughs> and i mean like i'm handling it like give me a minute right now so like so like i'm literally sacrificing like my job so i can see the next strategy coming up because that's when i think that was during uh that was during covid when everything was dropping there were so many opportunities to take advantage of and imagine missing out on those opportunities the money i could have missed out on that would have set me up for those properties to come and so it was it was definitely just it was worth the sacrifice i mean really in the moment it's like you don't know what to do but you just have to act because most people they would lean towards oh kirby hold on i my job's calling like but in reality like i knew at that time this what i'm doing with kirby like because i had just met you i was like this is gonna break me away from this job like i got to learn this and it's gonna be interesting to see if someone can actually make all those little sacrifices that they don't realize need to be sacrificed yeah. and and that's and that's the hard part that's the hard part uh it's and and the thing is so for the viewers um I'm not I'm not out here, you know, fishing, looking for somebody to get in the comment section saying, hey, pick me, pick me. That's not what I'm doing. And I'm not I didn't put, you know, Alex do it just for, you know, giggles on my part. Everything that I do is I won't tell somebody to do something that I haven't done or I won't do. And it's mostly what I haven't done. I everything that I do. I will make sure that I did. I won't tell Alex, hey, Alex, go uh, go jump off a cliff if you really want money. I ain't jumped off no damn cliff. I mean, physical cliff. Metaphorically, I have jumped off cliff. But I wouldn't, I don't ask people to do it. I mean, I only will tell people to do what I've done. I mean, Alex, as you know, I don't celebrate nothing. Now, I will crash your house if you got food. I don't care if you care what day it is. <laughs> but I don't. I don't celebrate nothing. So when I'm asking people, hey, don't celebrate, you need to save, you need to do this, you need to do that. And I know it's hard. I know it's hard, especially when you've grown up in a certain way of life. And all, you know, my answer to that is, all right, you've been growing up that way. How how good has that done for you? That's That's really the answer. I mean, I don't celebrate none of the holidays. I mean, birthdays, Chris, I don't do none of that. But my son ain't sitting over here like he's missed out. My son's able to enjoy all the things in life that everybody else. He just don't have to wait to a certain day to enjoy them. It's just I don't want the world to dictate what I should do. My success depends on me. So I create my own holidays. I create my own days that I'm going to do stuff. Because I'm going to create my own money. I'm going to create my own lifestyle. And I'm going to do what I want to do. The world don't dictate to me anything. And so those just, you know, things that we, you know, that, that we went through, you know, we went through, we went through a little bit, but like I said, Alex, he's, he's well on his own now. I mean, now I call Alex, he sent me the voicemail. He don't call <laughs> back no more. He's, he's, he's way past me. He like, I already got this. I don't need you no more, old man. So, so now I gotta, oh, I gotta find the next Thundercat out there to, uh, to, to torment and torture for you know the next six months or so so if you're out there reach out let me know but if you're not it's okay i'll find them with all that being said guys leave a comment down below uh share this video like it let us know if you think you're up to the task we'll select you <laughs> no but uh subscribe guys and we'll see you guys in the next one